Hi guys, I'm Roy. And before I start, I just wanted to give you some background. On one hand, I am having problems with my motorbike, and on the other hand, I have problems with my smartphone. And that's when this crazy idea came in. Um, uh, it might not be a new idea. I mean, people might have already worked on it, or maybe there might be lots of automobile or motorbike engineers or designers who might already have thought about it. Or possible is pretty is that I mean, there might be some prototypes already in place, or there might be such a thing available in the market, maybe in some highly developed countries. I mean, or so what i was thinking about is like i'm mean, what you see in the picture now we know like uh the nowadays smartphones they integrate with the smart tvs and maybe and maybe even other appliances through bluetooth even cars do have the options to use a smartphone to do some certain things in the car i mean so that's what i was thinking i was even googling or uh, searching in the google uh, wherein i found a smartphone which doubles up as a tablet i mean you can just place that smartphone behind the tablet and the tablet shows or displays all the smartphone related stuff that you want to see in your tab so that's where i thought like can a similar idea be used to integrate a mobile or a smartphone with a motorcycle i mean see a motorcycle has like the speedometer which is a display a digital display the fuel indicator and let's like the kilometer or the miles that show up on the display in the dashboard area why can't we do it is like we can just plug in our smartphone at the front area of our bike and that smartphone talks with the, my bike and we can have like uh, certain things which can be like ad an advantage like I mean since it will be a touch screen I can first see the small speedometer which is like required and maybe it will also show the display the fuel indicator or the kilometers that it has run or the trip meter and I can just slide it I mean with my finger at if required or I can even use a voice communication and I might have a bluetooth and my ears plugged in and i talk to my phone and say like hey i need to see the direction from this place to that place i mean even that can be done i mean it can show up in front of your bike i mean and then what else i mean you can like just like the iphone has i mean the fingerprint option where you can the security option i mean you can use a fingerprint to display or maybe even start the engine i mean it's obviously better to have a button to start the engine but you can your fingerprint with the smartphone can work with it then and that will give additional security as well for the bike then when I mean, the smartphone will have the internet 3g or 4g i mean so basically your directions and all will be at real time even if the traffic di conditions will be at real time i mean what's the traffic from this route to that route i can even just say uh, it will be displayed on my screen and anytime I can go back to the original screen, maybe the speedometer screen. So, I mean, this all possibilities are there. Maybe such a bias already exists. But again, thinking of the disadvantages. Well, yeah, I mean, the basic disadvantage will be like if I have my smartphone and I plug it on the uh, mobile. And when I don't use it, I remove the smartphone and start using it as a smartphone, which is in my hand. Then how do I share my bike with someone? I mean, maybe my brother or my friend. But again, solution might be there. Maybe I can add a, the fingerprint recognition of my friend or my sibling or brother in that phone and that will help him to start the bike and use it. I mean, that's one option. Then there might be like all smartphones and laptops and PCs. They have the virus issues. I mean, if you're connected or the malware, I mean, that can be a threat. I mean, yeah, that's a big threat because you might even might not be able to control a bike if we have that level of intelligence put into that smartphone so that's one thing and the big one if your mobile gets stolen or you drop it from your hand it breaks how do you feed in the data for the new mobile that will get i mean that needs to be worked out again reconfigure your bike for the new phone something like that Again, 
this is just, just like I said, it might be a crazy idea, but again, it might be in use. So, if you think or, or you know that you, or you can point me and pass a comment where in I can such a bike exist, then that will be good. Or if you like the idea, you can like this video. If you would dislike it, you can dislike the video. But at least put some comments or at least point me to the right direction where in maybe there is a already in a bike or motorbike available which uses a similar feature. Just plug in your motor smartphone into that uh, motorbike and use it and unplug it whenever you don't use it. So thank you for watching.